This is a review of how neuromuscular blocking agents might be used in myasthenia gravis and Lambert-Eaton. In myasthenia gravis, you generally want to avoid using neuromuscular blocking agents unless you specifically have rocuronium and sugamidex. Myasthenia gravis has decreased acetylcholine receptors, which means they're resistant to the depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents, corroborated by this increase in ED95. In myasthenia gravis, you're very sensitive to the non-depolarizing agents, like rocuronium. You want to administer them in very, very small doses and have a train of four monitor. You always want to reverse with sugamidex. If you reverse with neostigmine, you put them at risk for a cholinergic crisis. In Lambert-Eaton, you have autoimmune destruction of the presynaptic voltage-gated calcium channels. These patients are sensitive to both depolarizing and non-depolarizing agents, and they require much less of either succinylcholine or rocuronium. You want to reverse these patients with sugamidex again because neostigmine might be ineffective, and you only want to use the non-depolarizing agents if sugamidex is available. There's a full video with a full description in the comments.